Island Quantum Touch back in 2007. At the time, I watched Richard's basic video, and I remember him making a comment that this helps people be born and it helps people die. And at the time, I thought, I don't want to help with people dying. Um, I want to be a healer. I want to be able to help people heal. And you changed that paradigm for me as well, Richard. It was about the fact that they're the healer, which helped me through a crisis because about a year later, I was, um, an old friend came back into my life who I had lost contact with. And at the time, she'd had breast cancer in the time that I had been away from her. And when we got back together, she was in a joyous state, and I was able to help her with quantum touch on just some minor things. When she received the news that she actually, um, the cancer had returned with a vengeance, and it had metastasized, so it was throughout her brain. And I remember thinking, quantum touch, I can help heal her. But I got this message that, no, that's not what I was there for. I was there to help support her. And so through this journey, I would go to her home, because she was now homebound, and I would work with her, and I could help her with pain relief. So she'd be in immense pain, and I was able to go lay hands onto her, um, working especially with her head, and watch that pain melt away. And it was a beautiful gift that you gave me that I could give back. And in her last days in the hospital, I would go in some days when people around her were praying and in fear, and there was a great deal of fear within her. So this not only helped me help her physically, but it helped me help her especially um, spiritually. Because I remember going in one day, and she was laying curled up in a fetal position in the hospital with a rag over her eyes she couldn't see. She was moaning in pain, and I walked in, and I laid hands on her head. And what I remembered is that it's your love that makes a difference. And so all I did was run as much love as I could, in, could build in my heart through my hands and into her head. And within 15 minutes, she rolled over, she took the towel off her eyes. She opened them, and she looked around. She goes, I feel good. So I continued to run the energy, and she sat up on the bed, and she goes, I feel joyous. And she says, and I'm hungry. <laughs> it was interesting because some of her friends came in then, they'd been gone over the lunch hour, they had sat by her bedside on death watch. And uh, they came in and the question they asked is, what are you doing here and who are you? And so I explained I was a friend and I was just here to help support her. And their question was, well does this come from God? And I said, this comes from love. And so whatever that source is, this is about help healing in a spiritual as well as a physical way. And so I want to thank you for allowing me to learn that and give that gift back. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. That's beautiful. Wow. That's